Hello, Phil. Uh, Phil. Hello. What's up, man? What's up, man? I ain't talked to you in a coon's age, man. Shit. This is Wally, man. I need your... Hold, 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 hold the fuck on, man. Hold on. I'm excited. Damn. Call you up and you just start yelling at me like you used to, man. You suck, man. Fuck. You, you mean, dude. Hello? Hey. All I want to do is go dancing. Y'all want to go dancing? Dancing. Oh, it's again against. What's up? Remember, I used to be on Yo MTV Raps. Yo, yo, yo. At the very beginning, like the third person they showed, it was me. I had the upside down. They had me sitting on an upside down bathtub. I was in a bathtub upside down, and they used to rub a dub dub on my scrub a dub. That's what I said. It was like a hook phrase. Everybody knew me for like fifteen minutes, motherfucker. I was a shit. What's your sign? What Scorpio? Damn. Yep, Scorpio. Scorpios are, are have good senses of humor. I'm an Aries. And, and what else about? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm an Aries. My mom was an Aries. She's a good woman, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Look what you're missing. What is that? Uh huh. It's a camera. It's a video camera. Is it really? Yeah, because I needed to get you saying that I was a good looking man and you that we're going to run away together <laughs> and that uh, we're going to. too bad. And give me another one of those big ones that you're playing. Powerball. Yeah, then I'm going to go. Okay. Because I got to go get something for tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to be in one. Are Washington. you married? No. You're not married? You ever no. been married? Yes. Yes. No, I've been married twice, but both of them died. Oh, okay. Well, one had prostate cancer, uh-huh. and my first husband, he was uh, operated on for a bad heart, and he didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So when are we gonna get? The, we we got it. We gotta hook it up. We gotta. We gotta make plans. We we'll go good. out. You're a Scorpio. Yes, I am. I'm. You damn good. I'm damn. Good. See, I, I got the I got the muscles in all the right <laughs> places. Bye, I'll see you later. Oops. She's not looking. Hello? Hello? Yes? Is Edward there? This is his wife. Who's this? Um, my name is Philip, and I'm supposed to call and sing him a song. You're supposed to call and sing him? No, sing him a song. Someone paid for me to call and sing him a song. It goes... Edward Quackenbush, he's a good man, he's strong. Who paid you to do this? I don't actually, I'd have to call the, the, well, it was Thomas Burnell. But that's not the whole song, it goes. Wait, I gotta find the words now. I wrote it, now I can't find it, damn it. Edward Quackenbush. He was a good man. He was a strong man, and he was an honest man. But he slept around on his wife. I gotta go now. <laughs> Hello, AJ. What's up? Hey, man, you still looking interested in driving a truck? What? You still interested in driving a truck? Over the road, big time trucker from here to wherever they need you. Clocking in the hours, making the dough. You ready for it? Huh? You ready? I want you, listen to me, big, big AJ. I've been watching you for a long time, buddy. And I think you'd be a good trucker. And the reason I think that, let me tell you, there's a couple reasons. First, you seem kind of dumb. And I'm worried that you may not work out in any other type of vocation. So I'm thinking being a trucker might be just right for you because... You can't really go wrong. You could tip your truck over and kill people, of course, but you'll have to be careful. But I still think that it's pretty much right there at your, you know, right there at your intellectual level for driving a truck. So that you don't have to be too smart. So you got that cornered right there. Next thing is, you got to be kind of goofy. And you're kind of goofy, dude. I mean, let's face it, dude. I mean, you creep a lot of people out, man. So 
You got a good trucker name, AJ. I mean, that sounds good on Channel 19 on the CB. You say, hey, good buddy, this is AJ. I'm coming in with that uh, load of pigs. We're uh, coming around the corner right now on the interstate. And they'd be like, hey, fuck, man, AJ's all right. He's the best trucker ever, and he doesn't even seem that creepy. But you're going to have to stay away from the rest stops and stuff because they're full of homos, man. And... uh Lot lizards and shit, they're going to be trying to get on you. You're going to have to watch out because you end up you end up getting herpes or something, dude. And I don't want that to happen to you either. But, I mean, the end game here, buddy, is simple, AJ. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to succeed. I want you to succeed. And what I want you to do is I want you to maybe even get a job with uh, Walmart someday. You could be a big Walmart truck driver. Wear your little shirt and your tie and you could be like... I work for Walmart, and that's what, you know, so what do you think, man? You want to meet me and maybe uh, go over it and rub each other's backs and ch- talk about it, man? What do you think? Hmm? Come on, man. You laugh a lot. You sure are, you randy little beaver. I like you a lot. I'd like to rub you up with some oil and friggin' teabag you. But that's, that's something for another day, buddy. If you're interested in driving a truck, meet me at the Holiday Inn in Gurney. I want you to meet me tomorrow at noon, okay, AJ? Bring a friend, all right? All right, I'll talk to you then, all right? I got to go, though. You at least going to say goodbye to me? Buddy, I love you. Bye. No. <laughs> Hello, is this the Tennyson residence? No. Who? Tennyson. Yes. Hi. It's been a long time. I'm calling again. I haven't talked to you since I wrote my last story. But I thought... Well, I'll tell you what. It's in the middle of the night. Good night. Hello, Tennyson residence. Who? Tennyson. Yes. Hi. It's been a long time. This is Roy Rodkins. I'm a writer for the Reader's Digest, and I was supposed to call well, you and... I'll tell you what. It's after midnight, and I get up at 3 o'clock. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Don't hang up. Hello. Hello, Tennyson residence. Yes. Hi. 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 Yes. Hi, I made sure I called you earlier tonight. It's only a quarter till 11. I did a good job there. I wanted to call you and tell you about my travels of recent. Uh, it's been such a whirlwind of activity and all kinds of crazy things happening. To the, to the point. What, do you want money or what? No, heavens no, I'm not about money. I'm a writer and I write stories and tales of adventure. And I've been all around the Orient and I found out that, that I like Oriental women. They're pretty and they're also so timid but i also like sharks and i like octopus and i found out i like mountain climbing i like riding bikes with no seats and i like to look at the sky sometimes i stare at the sun until it hurts my eyes of course (laughs) but i want to write a story about you this is gonna be my new butterfly crossbook hound dog oh yeah I got 500 butterflies, home dog. 